Hello guys, I'm back again for the next part. As you can see, I've done a lot behind the scenes. Um, I It isn't hard, it's just all the really tight blanket stitch. I did a, um, a stem stitch here and a backing stitch here. So um, I've just gone all the way around and I've cut here and um, a little bit here. Must have cut a little bit too close. There you go. This is what you've got to be really careful of. Cut a little bit too close and that's come undone. So, um, yeah, I'm just... I had done another line here because I thought it might have been a little bit too... Um, too much of a gap. But I'm thinking it might be all right. So I might undo that and then just start cutting. I've still got the, the pink to do on here. So I've got that pink there, and then I'm just going to do the light bit. But for now, um, I am just going to do a bit of stitching. My cat is on. Um, she's just in here in the studio with me, and she's going nuts. So um, I might just unpick this, and I think I'm going to. Because I was looking at it and I'm like, oh, look, the gap's okay. Um, I'm just going to um, just cut it. So, actually, I might just pause it. I thought I may have needed to have that extra. Let's pause it. I'll be back. Okay, I am back again. So, yeah, it's all uh, a lot of work behind the scenes. So... What you need to do, um, I was going to cut along there, but I thought I'd just leave it. So I'm going to, um, I have to still do that. This is just done with, well, it's all the blanket stitch and everything. So I still need to go around that. But since I've cut around all of it, oh, I've got to be really careful around that too. So you just get a pair of scissors and cut sort of on the angle. Right, zoom it in a little bit. Bit hard. Bit hard to see. Um, so I'm gonna go on the angle and be quite careful. I might just cut it here because I've still got to cut that bit. With um, and still got to do so uh, sew that bit. So we'll go along around the outside here. We'll do it sort of almost lift it up on the angle because I don't want to do what I did over here and I've cut it. So it needs to be a nice sharp. Now this is the easy part because it's on the um, on the outside. Put that over there. So here is what we've got on this side. You can just see it, but see how and even on here as well. Okay. We'll go around the corner. Sort of tilt it up and get in there nice and close without cutting it. Okay. Very done. So we've got to be quiet when you're busy concentrating and you've got to be really careful when you get to these. So that's all the back done. So that bit is going to be sitting on here like that. And see how nice that looks when you've got you know some bits that are uncovered. Now here's here's the like the little work map. So 
um, I've cut out the corner just to do a test and it's probably just as well oh, I'm so annoyed with that I'll, I'll just have to come back and do some more blanket stitch but we are going to be um, I'll probably be putting it on a bit of an angle like that or maybe like that and then putting the word cut work along here yep, like this I also um, did a lot of ironing in between um, you know when I did something and I ironed it down because it, it does I'm like oh I'm not really happy with it but then once I ironed it it looked okay so um, yeah now to do the cut work see I can't do that one that one or any of the ones on the top but I can do the ones down here so I'll grab that one you be really careful you cut get in the middle and you do the same now it got to be really careful with these bits on the side because unlike here they haven't got that edge so go as close as you can and I think that's probably where because that was on the side you see yep um, I did the boo-boo and then when we get to here you just do it on that angle and sort of go underneath okay and this is the tricky bit and you don't want to rush it you've got to do it a little bit slower and because it is linen we don't have thread um so bit set see like that you miss it just pull at it and then cut it okay now this bit here probably the tricky bit be really careful not to cut Now this is going to be a little bit different to if you were to do like a doily um, example here. Um, oh, my little bucket of stuff. Where are they here? I've got these little empty, empty doily bits. So when you do doilies, they they've got that, and that's where you put the crochet. And um, you know where those little end bits in you've got the crochet so you would have that there but because this is going to be in um, you know like in a journal I'm just going to be stitching that down to there normally you would probably have more like there would be more you'd leave this you know like that would be the background and it would be a lot more stable it wouldn't be like that sloppy better this is just an example so when you're doing it in this sort of stuff, um, you're going to have more background and it's going to be, you know, like it, the, the cuts aren't very big, so it's not going to be as sloppy and it's got other stuff on the other side. hope that's making sense. So here we can see whoop, a little bit of it. So maybe just go onto the back. Being really careful or oh, you don't want to cut it. Okay. And lifting it up. There we go. So they've got to be small, sharp scissors. And I probably recommend embroidery scissors. I'm not professing to be any expert on this, as you know. I'm. This is one. Um, I'm learning along with you. So. Um. Then once again, we have that on the back. I just think it looks really pretty with 
with a nice colour behind the background and it really, that'll bring out that. So, um, and you've got to be really careful only the bits with the cross on them and then remember I, I left out that one so because this is the actual leaf so you be really really careful there is a bit in between I think there's more of a gap there in between the on the on the pattern than the ones that get this I I may not worry about doing that it's just too close together so I'll do that that so I'll try again I'll try this one Like I said, there isn't a lot to teach you because it's basically like, you know, um, just doing a whole heap of um, blanket stitch really close together. And like I said, you don't want to do it too close together because I will, so I'm not going to lie to you, it took a long time to do that. I'm glad we're not filling it in. Um, it was it's called slow stitching and you got a whole month so it's not like you haven't got time to do it um you know like a lot of people say if you want to sit in front of the tv and just do it i actually can't do that because i need my close-up glasses to do embroidery and then i need different glasses to watch tv <laughs> So unfortunately, I can't do that. I can do, you know, stuff like winding thread, but I can't do sewing while I watch TV. But oh well. Now, have a long, really careful. And even if you do, like if you, if you cut it like I've done here, it's not the end of the world. You know, it's all all good so what I might do is go at the back see where the bits have come out pull it over and then cut but be really careful it's like giving a haircut isn't it okay this really does help you to appreciate when you get these doilies and often you can get them really really cheaply um, how much work has gone into them, you know, when these ladies before us have done all this work and then they sell them quite cheaply, which I mean, I personally don't mind, but it is a bit of an insult to their work. Okay, I think that should be enough. There you go, once again. Oh, it's going to be pretty. So that's how they did that cut work. So before I cut any further, what I might do, I might do that. I've got, I've got some, I um, originally had my wonder feel, but then I remembered I had um, that pink that we used on the, um, the cross stitch. Oh, seriously. It's got a knot in there. Oh, I'm not going to bother with undoing it. I'm just going to cut it. And then use that bit later. Um, yeah, when we did the cross stitch pattern. Um, see, I'm still in camera. Yes. Uh, you've got all that thread. So you might as well use it. So this lot has got um, the the floss the stranded cotton which um you know didn't turn out too badly i don't think so what we do here is because i'm cutting there i actually start there cut the knot then go over and then And because this is a floss, it um, 
does come apart. I used, you get six strands in the thing and I used three. Push. That's what I mean, like when you're doing it, it comes up. So I start in there and I bend in there and it does tend to sort of go over a little bit, but that's why I iron in between. Okay. But back in the day, when this is vintage sewing, after all, this the floss, the DMC is all they used. I didn't have any of this. Um, oh, um, fancy stuff. The new Wonder Fill. Oh, I do love it. Okay. Um, and it's a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper to buy the DMC or the, whatever the, you know, the flo the, the floss or the stranded cotton. There you go. But I find, this is what I find with it, it just annoys me the way that it pulls apart forever. You know, wetting your fingers and pulling it. Okay, we do get into a bit of a rhythm, but it's just not happening for me at the moment. It's been a pill. Okay. There we go. So, like I said, not hard, just a bit of time consuming, but it does look really pretty. And if you want to learn different ways, this is just the basic step to doing um, cut work. Um, So, you know, you get yourself that, that book that I showed you in the last video. That was just an old book that I got from um, an op shop, thrift shop. Um, look in there, you know, the section and they often will have some of the old stuff. I can feel the cat. In my leggies. Hey, puss. Hello. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Just, this is why I did a lot of behind the scenes work because as you can see, not too interesting watching me do this because that's all I have been doing behind the scenes in the last week um, after, you know, doing the first video. Um, just sort of sat in here, had my music on, just doing this. Oh. When you get close to some of the other stuff, it can be a little bit harder. And I did with some of them when it was a little bit close. I just here, there, I did a couple of just stem stitches, and I didn't do um, if it, you know, it's proving to be a little bit difficult. And close to the others, you just do stem. I keep calling satin stitch stem stitch. Just do a couple of rounds without doing that. This part where you do the blanket stitch. Hope this is all making sense. Don't feel overwhelmed. A lot of this stuff isn't hard for the ladies that have never done this before. You just you probably think, well, wow, you know, thinking it's so hard all this time, and it isn't hard. It's just time consuming. So, um, yeah, but you've got a whole month to do this one. Um, I mean, it's pretty and it's a really nice technique, but it is a bit more monotonous than some of the other techniques with 
doing, we've done, and the ones we're going to do. So, but still pretty. This is vintage sewing techniques after all, and this is the stuff that our um, you know our grandmothers and ladies before us were doing for years, sitting in their sewing circles doing hand embroidery. I like, um, um, was it Virgin River, where the ladies get together in the local, um, the local pub or whatever they call it, and they bring their sewing and they stitch in natter. Okay. Okay, well, I will um, maybe turn off the video oh. until and then finish this and then um, proceed to cut and do all that. So when you, so for the homework for next time, we'll put this down. Um, get on your back part so I'm thinking it's probably I might just do the word cut work you've got the word cut work here um, I am look at me it's my writing so I'm just going to get the pen and write it on there but um, you know get take it to a light box or a window and trace it if you want to have it I made it that size if you don't like it um, on the on the side you can always just go here like that which a lot of them have got that and so for the next video we'll embroider that on and then I'll I'll show you how to put it in in um, your book and um, I've gotten out when we're gonna sew it on we sew it on here too you get out your cotton your thin cotton and match it up to what you've got so just a thin, because we're just going to do like a catch stitch, just to stitch it down to actually this fabric. So, no worries. So, um, not a particularly long video this time round. So, um, I just did this just to show you. So now some of the bits. If you go back to it, see how it's got the little bits, you can pull it and then just cut them off if you think, you know, they're showing too much. So, because it's linen, it'll come up. So it looks looks quite all right. Line in between. Okay, in the next video, I'll have all this finished and all the bits cut. So remember, not in between, only the bits that have got the cross on there. So there, that one, this one I'll do. I'll do all of that once that all has all been sewn. I really quite like the colour and how bright it is. I think it's really pretty. And then I will show you how we are going to attach it. Okay, guys, I'll go back out. No, do that every time. There we go. Um, I'll go back out and then I will catch you in the next video. I think it looks really pretty when you can see the nice background so whatever background you get maybe have a bit of a color that's going to complement the colors that you're using in the, your embroidery okay guys i will catch you uh next week and that'll probably be the last video just the cut work so put the word on there i just like having the word if you don't want to have it but it's as it's a reference guide at least you know what you're going to be doing um and what it's called Okay guys, thank you very much. I am really enjoying doing this journey with you guys and there's been quite a few um, that have been doing this along with me. Um, if you want to post uh, pictures on my Vintage Blend Studio Facebook, you can, do, you can put pictures in the comments or even post me a picture in my um, Etsy um, comments as well you can post pictures in there I thought I didn't want to start up a Facebook page because it does take a bit of time to 
maintain it and we've got the Roxy Journal one so if you want to show me you can email me which you can contact me via email on my website and all that kind of stuff or Etsy conversations that would be really good or on Instagram yeah okay guys thank you very much I'm just nattering and I'll catch you next week thanks bye